All right then, gang. So now we're fetching data in a couple of different places in this application. I want to talk a little bit now about how to make a loading UI and how Next.js can stream different parts of our page using suspense boundaries. So I'm on the next docs over here and you can see that right here it says we can create a loading.js file which returns some kind of static loading screen and that component can be instantly shown in the browser whilst the server loads any data required for a particular page. So for example on our tickets page that we made if the fetch took about two seconds then we could instantly show a loading screen for those two seconds to the user and that's a better user experience, I think, than just seeing a blank screen for two seconds. And the way that Next.js does this is by wrapping our page component in a suspense component to create a suspense boundary. And that means everything else outside of that suspense boundary, for example, the navbar in the layout file, would still load instantly, but inside the suspense boundary, we show a loading screen until any data fetching is complete and until the actual page we wanna see is fully rendered. We can also manually use the suspense component to create additional suspense boundaries in parts of a page so that Next.js can stream parts of a page to the browser whilst any data fetching is going on in the background. So we're going to look at how to do both of these things in this lesson. All right, so let's try making a loading page now in the root of the application. So inside this folder, new file, and it's called loading.jsx. And then inside here, we can make our loading template. And it's gonna be something really simple. So first of all, let's change this to loading with a capital L, since that's the convention I've been using so far. Then we'll get rid of this and replace it with a main tag. We'll give this a class of text hyphen center. And then inside that an H2 with a text hyphen primary class. That's so it gets that primary color. And it will say loading dot dot dot. And then just a little message underneath and we'll say hopefully not for too long with a smiley face. All right. So then that's our loading page. And this is what's going to show where we're trying to fetch data on any other page in the background. So until that data is being fetched, Next.js is going to show this page. So let's go now and open up anywhere where we're fetching data. So let's go to the ticket list because we're fetching data here. And what I'm gonna do is try to imitate a delay. So say we're sending a request to some API in a server somewhere that takes longer to do than just this using JSON server because this is near instant. And I wanna be able to see that loading page. I'm gonna paste in this thing right here to imitate that kind of delay as if we're going to some third party API or something. So basically waiting for a promise to resolve using a set timeout at three seconds. So it's going to resolve. It's going to run this function after three seconds. And when this promise resolves, because we're awaiting it here, then it moves on to this. So this is like a three second delay. So we're delaying this one to fetch all the tickets and we'll go to the tickets details page and do the same thing down here where we have the function get ticket. We'll wait three seconds for that. So now we should see the loading screen that we just created for three seconds in the place of these two pages, the ticket details page and also the ticket list page. So let's give this a whirl. So I'm on the tickets page and I'm gonna refresh over here. And when I do that, we should see the loading component, which we do for about three seconds before we see the tickets. Awesome, so that's working. And notice if I refresh again, the nav bar at the top that stays because remember the suspense boundary only wraps the pages and this is the page component but this nav bar is not inside a page it's inside the layout so it's not wrapping this stuff up here so this loads instantly the loading screen loads instantly it's just this thing right here only when we have the data for that that replaces the loading screen now when we go to a ticket it's probably going to show straight away and that's because we need to refresh on one of these pages so let me refresh right here and we should see loading right here now as well. Yep, for three seconds, then we see the page. Awesome. So then on our tickets page where we show all the tickets, we have the actual ticket list components in which we fetch all the tickets and then render them. But also we have this little nav template above the ticket list component. Now this nav template doesn't really need to be loaded because it doesn't depend on any data being fetched. So really we shouldn't be waiting for that to see on the screen. 
what we could do is show this bit of the page while the data for the actual tickets is being fetched. Now, the way we do this is by manually creating a suspense boundary around the part of the page that relies on the data. So in our example, that would be the ticket list component. Because by default, the boundary is around the entire page, right? Which is why we don't see any of the page until the data is being loaded at the minute. So we can create that suspense components and wrap it around the ticket list components. And make sure you also import the suspense component as well from React, otherwise this is not going to work. But if you wrap this ticket list component now with that suspense component, we're making that boundary, the suspense boundary around the ticket list, which means that now the rest of the page outside of that can be shown in the browser right away. And then when the data has been fetched and the rest of the page has been rendered, the ticket list is going to be output right here. Now, in the meantime, we're going to show a fallback loading screen here just in this place on the page but we have to manually register that fallback loading screen by using the fallback prop and specifying a component that we want to use as a fallback. So we can just use the loading component that we just made and make sure you also import that as well. And now we should see the loading component inside the suspense section right here until the data has been fetched. And then when it has been fetched, then we see the ticket list. So I'm back on the tickets page and this is the little nav section at the top. So now we've created a suspense boundary around just this ticket list. When I refresh, we should still see that and then just see the loading page down here. So let's try this refresh. And yep, we still see this awesome. And it'll take three seconds to show the rest. Cool.